Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to be back for another verse of the day. I skipped last week, but we're doing great. We got one, we got some good topics to talk about today. So a couple weeks ago, a pastor at my church talked about decision making and what that looks like and how to bring God into your big life decisions. And I was like, man, I need that. Maybe you guys need that. Like it's really hard to make decisions these days, to make to figure out how to make the right decision. So I thought I'd share what he talked about and it'll be a great time. So in the comment section down below, let me know some big decisions you've had to make and how you decided which option to choose because decision making is really hard and we're all, we all go through it. If you're new, glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. It should be a fun time and go ahead and maybe subscribe and become a part of the family. The family's growing. It's so fun and it's just, I love all of you. So there's different types of decision making, different levels of decision making. We make decisions every single day, big and small. Like my decision to wear a striped shirt today was a small little decision in my day compared to if we're deciding whether we should move across the country for something or take a job over here or like which college to go to. Those decisions are bigger and some of those decisions require faith and sacrifices. I think it's, a, it's very important before you make these certain important decisions to ask God, like God, what do you want for me? What do you want of me? What direction are you leading in? Trying to get clarity in that way through prayer and different things like that. Like inviting God into your decision making because ultimately he knows where you're going next and we don't. We're kind of like on the blind side of things. So asking God for that clarity and then sacrifice. For instance, if you might need to sacrifice some things to go into the right path, you might need to do things in order to grow, in order to be able to make those decisions, like stepping outside of your comfort zone and sacrificing maybe that comfort in order to grow and make the right decision. Some decisions require courage. For instance, I don't know, some of you guys might be deciding whether to go to college soon and whether you want to go out of state or to stay close to your family. These decisions require courage and we find this through God. So your base, your foundation of courage and strength is Jesus. And I think when you continue to grow in your faith, as you make decisions, the question will come up of, will my life be used to expand the kingdom of Jesus? So what you're about to do, what you're deciding on, will it help to grow God's kingdom? Will it help you perform God's works? Like it's, it's a really interesting to think about and I think in today's society with like all the decisions we make and different people telling us how to make decisions, it can be very hard to keep God in our decision making. Some decision making requires compassion. Some decision, decisions, some decisions can affect other people. I think a lot of times it's easy to stay within ourselves and forget about how our decision making and our actions will affect everyone around us. So keeping those in mind. I'm not saying you should decide on a certain way because this person told you to, but if this person is a big part of your life and your decision could possibly change that dynamic, maybe think about how it will affect them, if that makes sense. This point I loved, all decisions require action. We can't sit back and hope God makes the right choice for us. We can't hope that God leads us in the right direction while we're sitting on the couch just waiting for a sign. We need action and I think in action we pray. So I've learned this a lot recently as I will not know where to go or what to do next, but I will pray about it, ask God about it, be in, have an open mind to what God has to say about it and then I'll go in the direction of that action and that decision and then pretty soon you'll figure out if it's the right place you're supposed to be. Okay, I love this. The last thing is making big decisions. One, will this honor God? Two, what will this require of me? Three, who will this impact? And four, what will enable me to follow through? And you're, you're more likely to follow through on things when you tell people about it. And we're all here to help keep each other accountable, keep each other on the right track, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So if you have to make some big decisions, think, 
keep that list in mind. And I'm sorry, I felt like I was rambling this whole time, but I hope you got something out of this. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see all your beautiful faces on Wednesday.